There's something that feels really special about holding a real photo in your hand. It may be nostalgia for me, however, it's really great when you're looking for a photo album. And in today's video, we're gonna look at what I think is a perfect answer for getting them in your hand really quickly with this updated kit from Kodak. And that's where this new version of the Kodak, Kodak Duck? And that's where this new version of the Kodak Doc, Kodak, Kodak? It's easy for me to say, <laughs> or it's easy for you to say even. Why did they name it that? What? Why, why did they do that? Hey everyone, hope you're tickety-boo. Now, we all know you can print photos, can't you, at home with those inkjet printers and things like that. Or you can spend a fortune on one of those gorgeous ones from Canon. So why do I think this one from Canon is gonna be the perfect answer for most of us? Or maybe thinking, why the hell should we bother printing out photos in this digital age? And if you're one of those people who loves to endlessly scroll through their phone or not actually hold those memories in your hand, then this video is probably no good for you. But if you wanna get great quality photos that won't fade, are water resistant, then stick around because I'm gonna give you some compelling reasons why actual photos are better than digital ones and why this little beauty is going to be the answer to all your problems. First off, let's talk about the tangible aspect of real printed photos. See, I come from that generation where we actually only had film, and at that time, you could only get a maximum of 36 shots on one camera. Is that all I get? Yes. I know it's coming back in fashion now, but it's a bloody expensive way of doing things. You see, what we used to do was be really careful on the shots we'd take. We'd finish off that roll of 36, take them down to the camera shop, yeah? We'd had to take them to a camera shop, not post them or anything like that. So do you like photos, man? <laughs> yeah, man, sure. And then we'd wait two or three days to get them back. Hey, man. And nine times out of 10, there were a few that weren't in focus, or the composition was pretty crap. Unless she was loaded, of course, then you could buy loads of film and pay for that priority delivery service where you could get them printed out on the same day. Yes, still a whole day. But you'd still get those ones with your finger over the lens or the sun was shining too much or, you know, they were just, it was hit and miss, really, because you couldn't tell what you'd actually taken. But the beauty was then is when you got them developed, they actually gave you a free film so you came back and got developing there. And nowadays, you have to actually pay for the film and pay for them to be developed, which is bloody expensive, like I said. So those advantages of being digital, as we all know, you can just click away, you can take as many photos as you like, you can bring them back in Lightroom, you can play around with them, you can get the best ones that you really, really want to show off. But like I said, there's still something beautiful about holding that physical photo in your hands. It's that tangible reminder of a moment frozen in time that you can just take with you for years and years and cherish. And they'll even be around when you're not, just for a bit of history. But it's not just about that experience for yourself. Printed photos often have that timeless quality that digital ones just don't have. Whilst they are convenient, they're just a fleeting moment in time. They're often stored away on your phone in a cloud and often never really looked at again because people take so many photos. And like I said, unless you want to scroll up and down through your phone like this, then you're never probably going to look at them again. But a printed one, it's there on display in a frame. It's those special moments in your life that you can really cherish, like I said. Or when you've got friends and family around and you're flicking through the photo albums. And those ones in the frame, they remind you of that special moment every time you walk past them. And another reason why printed photos are just absolutely superb is they make excellent gifts, don't they? It's my birthday. Whether it's a birthday, an anniversary, a holiday, there's just no better way of showing somebody that you actually remember them and care about them than a personalized photo. And that's where the Kodak dock, and it took me ages to say that properly, comes into its own. Because you can connect your phone to it, either click it in the top here, just like this, or it connects via Bluetooth. Then you can be printing your photos out straight away. It gives you that opportunity to make those heartfelt gifts almost instantly. And there's another advantage, because if you forgot somebody's birthday, it's a really good way of being able to get something personalised for them. Now let's talk about the quality of these photos. As you can see here, they're really, really good. What actually happens is it has a four pass method in there, which I'll explain in a minute. But basically, at the end of the day, you'll have a photo that will actually last up to 10 years before it starts to fade. And it's actually water resistant with the coatings that go on it. As you can see here, what happens with the four pass printing technology is the layers of film of yellow, then magenta, then cyan are actually laid on just like this. And it's actually really quick to do it. 
Then it finalizes it with this fourth layer that actually protects it and ensures those colors stay vibrant, sharp, and all the details are there. And as I said, they'll stand the test of time because they'll last up to 10 years. Not like those inkjet ones that just fade after a year or so and actually look really poor quality, I think. And finally, as they're six by fours, it gives you that nice size to be able to put into a photo album, doesn't it? And what it can also do, if you want to get bigger prints, it gives you that opportunity to print it off and square it up and get the composition just right before you send it off on a digital one to get those prints back in A4 and things like that. But with these ones, it's going to allow you to decorate your home, make a scrapbook, you know, those journeys and holidays that you've gone with a family and things like that. Just make those memories come to life that are going to often spark conversations when you're having parties and things like that and friends and family around. As for the costs, a pack of 80, just like this one here, it comes with 80 sheets in there and the cartridge, and it comes in at around 22 pounds, which is roughly 25 pence a print. Yes, I know some of you are gonna say, I can send them off and get them cheaper and things like that, but it's the fact of being able to do it in your own home and be part of that whole process, that whole creative process, because as you can see in the app here, you can move it around, zoom it in and things like that, do small edits with it, and even put a white border or get creative with one of these frames on it. And as you can see here, like I said earlier, it connects either by Bluetooth or direct with both USB-C and it comes with a lightning adapter if you've got those older iPhones. Now one thing I would have liked is to make it even better is if it connected to either my Canon cameras or my Lumix cameras, that would be brilliant. I suppose you can't do it though because you can't get the apps on and things like that, but Kodak, if you're listening, that'd be a really good add-on. But as I tend to edit most of my photos in Lightroom, what we want to do then is just edit in there and then cloud drop it into your phone like this. Then it's easy and simple just to Bluetooth it straight to the printer. So there you go, folks. The Kodak Doc ERA 4-pass printer, and I said it in one attempt then, it's not just a printer. It's a gateway to a world of memories, connections and experiences. Why settle for something that's digital? We can have a print like this, okay, in your hand and share it with other people. It's bloody the best way to do it, in my view anyway. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. So if you've enjoyed this one, give us the old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe to have more tips on photography or gear reviews and things like that. Get out there, enjoy taking some photos, enjoy sharing them as actual prints for everyone to enjoy. But at the end of the day, stay safe, have fun, keep smiling. See you next time. Oh,